Hello, my name is Cheryl Wilson and welcome to my studio. I want to talk to you today about something that I'm doing right now and I thought it'd be helpful to you. I get a lot of questions about this and it's creating a body of work or a series of work uh, in your art journey. Now this is a little bit different than the concept of your entire body of work. There's even a word for it. I think it's ovrum. It's that's your entire, entire journey and that's going to ebb and flow and it's going to change and and um, you'll see even some of the famous artists, Joan Mitchell, those where they have different um, styles of work. Actually you could call them different bodies of work along the way. But I'm talking for the purpose of this video, um, a body of work that is specifically uh, tailored to a certain number of pieces, could be for an art show, a um, just to you know keep you focused, uh, for whatever reason, it's, it's a certain body of work, very focused for a specific time, for a specific purpose. The number of paintings could vary from you know, small amount, five, six paintings, depending on the venue or the purpose, all the way up to some artists, you know, do it for a uh, a show, may have up to 25. It, that is very variable. Um, the benefit of this, and this is something that I actually um, did not realize until I started creating within a body of work, was that it is a way to grow as an artist because we're notoriously, at least I am as an abstract artist, normally all over the place. I get an idea, I get inspired, and I'll paint something here. I get a new uh, paint in and I'll get started on something else. So, you know, find a certain medium and I want to like play with that. But to create a body of work or a series really helps me focus and it helps artists focus in on staying within a plan and creating within parameters that you've set down. And I'm going to um, talk about this in other uh, videos. Uh, it will be a series of creating your body of work and the growth that you instilled in yourself is it's almost like I get up every morning and I make my bed that's something I do then the rest of the day has a pattern and a, a schedule when you do when you do a body of work you stay within parameters that force you to be creative but to learn as you go and I've learned so much work so so many things when I've created in a body of work so I'm going to talk about the six um, creative ideas for you. There's a lot more, but I'm going to keep it down to six. And I'm going to talk about um, the one that I've chosen for my current body of work. And um, I think you'll enjoy this, and I hope you learn. And so let's let's get started. All right, I am in my art office. And we're going to continue this conversation of the six creative ideas for creating a series or a body of work. Again, my name is Cheryl Wilson and I am a abstract expressionist um, painter, um, artist, and I'm also the founder of Intentional Artists and that is a platform of a, pla a place where I do blogs, I do uh, training for artists, I do mentoring, and I'll eventually have a more uh, wide um, blown out uh, subscription for more uh, in-depth videos that go into um, the background and the depth of some of the paintings that I do or in this case a more in-depth description of when I uh, from step to step of creating a body of work from my forms I use right now I have it on Instagram it's Cheryl Wilson art and I put the link below but 
there I will I have forms and templates that I provide for free to those that are part of the subscription others outside do have to to pay for the forms um, on my link uh, but I will actually go into more depth of the uh, thought process of what goes into uh, each of the steps in the body of work. So it's more in depth. Right now it's only $4.99, $4.99 a month. Once I migrate over to my own platform, those that are a part of it currently or at that moment will stay at the $4.99, but it will go up expen ex it will go up a lot more because there will be a lot more uh, training and um, videos available. But enough about that for right now. Let's go into the six ideas. And again, there's a lot more, but there's six that I thought were um, the some highlights. And the first one is actually the um, current um, idea that I'm building my body of work on and that's to develop a concept or emotional thought that you're uh, excited about in the past I've done a series on um, it was around the um, the woman's body and pregnancy I had a, um, a history of many miscarriages and so at one point it was very um, much of a passionate thing for me and so it was abstract but it was um, a series along that line another one was a series on paintings abstract paintings that kind of represent dementia uh, and again this is a very emotional thing for me my mother had Alzheimer's dementia and has since passed away and so there was a lot of paintings that went into depth about um, dementia what does the mind look like conversations i had with her and um i painted what i thought she was saying to me that she felt the the different sections of the mind how she couldn't think and how things got uh, webbed up i mean thoughts kind of went through a web it was very interesting and i did a series on that I've done a series and I continue to add to this one on women's portraits and it's they're, they're a little bit different, um, very abstract, but uh, not just a women's portraits, but um, portraits with an abstract um, theme through it. Uh, so that's the first one, developed a concept or emotional thought um, about something you're passionate about. That to me would be very easy. Um, and then... I go through um, with the Instagram subscriptions actually what made me go through the thought pattern to get to the topic that I'm currently building a body of work on uh, and then hopefully through this YouTube channel I will be having a series on a more high level showing the steps I go through so two, create a series with a specific medium. For instance, I did a series um, during COVID. I spelt, spilt wine on one of my paintings and I loved the way it soaked in. It was a piece of paper. So I did a series on wine stains on uh, paper and how they dripped. Um, I've done a series on um, painting with sand adding sand within your art. Um, it could be a new medium, it could be a medium that uh, you've wanted to use, or it could be just a whole series on a medium that you have used, or a combination. Um, it could be um, coffee, tea. How do they look on regular canvas or on raw canvas? Because raw canvas has a little different feeling. There's not that um, gesso primer on it and so things will soak in a little bit differently and you can see the weave so that's another series three um the use of a certain or limited color palette which is beautiful you could do a series with um just using black and white paint um series of black and white paint and alcohol inks or just a mixture of black and white um i've done a series where i've done black and white and then you add one other color and then you're amazed at how many colors that you can get from adding um, just one color or adding two colors. 
Um, but that's, that is a wonderful series or a wonderful body of work that you can create that becomes very cohesive. And then you can add other marks or whatever but to keep it, you know, jointed, but having just a limited palette of colors. Four, develop a new style. For instance, um, I had a series I started before my dad got sick and I left and, um, I, I haven't finished it, but on polymer clay and adding um, what the polymer clay, the depth of the 3D depth looks like on canvas. And another series that I worked on was adding um, material like cotton and harden, putting it in a hardener and then having different shapes of that on your canvas. So it's very 3D and that would be a beautiful um series or body of work. Uh, five, um, a specific themed idea, maybe abstract landscapes, uh, maybe the seasons, um, just a themed idea. I mean, this could go on. I mean, there's so many themed ideas that you could choose a specific holiday or a specific, um, um, you know, a religious idea. Um, and then number six, uh, you can combine several of these ideas into one, like maybe the limited palette with uh, a new medium. So there's there's so many um, ideas that you can um, come up with just based on these six ideas that I've given you. But the main thing, again, is to have a unity of work. And I mentioned this before, but to do a, a body of work forces an artist, you know, I don't like the word force, but it encourages me as an artist to stay focused. Um, it helps create this um, uniqueness in each of your pieces. And, you know, whether they're five pieces or, um, you know, 25 pieces, there's this cohesiveness and this uniqueness. And then what happens to you as an artist is there's a growing process and a learning, um, you know, phenomena that happens as you're building these that from the first painting to the fifth painting to the tenth painting, there's such a, there's a cohesiveness, but there's such a growth and a difference between them. It's just, it's something you have to experience. And the unity is just very appealing to those that are looking at your artwork. And a main idea here is the people that are looking at your artwork, you want them to connect. You want them to connect with your work and then you want them to connect with you. And it allows the conversation between you and your collector or the onlooker to have this deep um, conversation between the two of you through your art. And it's like each painting is a phrase and these different phrases all go, get to be put together into this beautiful song or this beautiful poem. Um, and they just, it, it's, it's just a beautiful experience. I say that because I know there's a lot of artists out there that haven't done body of work. So if I emphasize the beauty and the connectivity and, and the cohesiveness and the learning, Maybe that will push you to finally do um, a body of work. So I hope this was helpful to you. And I hope the follow on videos where I go through um, a template uh, that explains uh, the steps that I'm going through and then down to the writing of the um, verbiage for the body of work to the little temp, the little um, paintings that I do to help um, focus me and to get ideas for the larger paintings I'm going to do, the idea of how many I'm going to have, what sizes, all the way to painting them. I think it's going to be a fun journey, so I hope you continue on this journey with me. And um, again, 
give a thumbs up, subscribe. The subscription to this is free, but it helps me. It helps the algorithm with YouTube. Um, YouTube's been great. I'm growing. It's a slow, steady growth. But you all are wonderful to me. The comments I get are just heartfelt. And um, I, right now, uh, answer every single one of them. And I love the family that we have here. So give it a thumbs up to tell me you're here. Leave me a comment and subscribe through the YouTube channel for free. And um, until next time, thank you.